The guidance on purchasing of mooring lines and tails has been greatly enhanced from the previous version of MEG. MEG 3 only recommended three parameters for purchasing lines. These were length, MBL and diameter. MEG 4 adds many more parameters, including load-bearing linear density, line tenacity, axial compression resistance, temperature and many others. You can find all the details in Section 5, Mooring Lines, and in Appendix B, Guidelines for the Purchasing and Testing of Mooring Lines and Tails. The expanded guidance in MEG4 is based on findings from the failure of the mooring line on the LNG carrier Zaga. The Zaga incident highlighted several issues, including industry confusion on mooring line strength terminology, the need for more guidance on selecting mooring lines that are fit for the particular purpose, the need for better processes to monitor the condition of mooring lines and tails in service. The new guidance in MEG4 emphasises the value of mooring line users developing closer working relationships with mooring line manufacturers. This will lead to better understanding of performance expectations and improve crews' ability to retire mooring lines before failure. Overall, OCIMF's aim is to reduce the number of mooring incidents, keeping crew members safe. By following the recommended guidance in MEG4, both the mooring line user and the mooring line manufacturer will be better educated on the use, performance and life expectancy of mooring lines.